Hey everyone, today we'll be checking out EUT R1, an incredibly affordable ARM based single boot computer that's packed with features. It's powered by an 8 core CPU, support M.2 NVMe storage, and offers a ton of I.O. options, all in a compact wallet size package. Right out of the box, the first thing you will notice is how compact it is. But before we dive deeper into the R1 itself, let's take a quick look at what else comes in the box. Okay, so we have got some screws, a heatsink likely for the CPU, and a 12 volt 36 watt power adapter. That's everything included in the package. Now back to the R1, as I mentioned earlier, it's impressively well built and loaded with I.O. options. On the front you will find an Ethernet port, 3 USB 2.0 port, a USB 3.0 port, a full size HDMI output, some status LEDs and the power input which uses a barrel jack connector. Looking from the top you will spot an M.2 E key for adding a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or LTE card along with 4 buttons for reset, power recovery and boot functions. There are also 2 MEP connectors here. On the left side we have a 30 pin socket that sports GPIO, UART, I2C, SPI and ADC plus a micro SD card slot and an additional USB 2.0 port. On the opposite side there is a 3.5mm audio jack and a mic input. But that's not all, turning to the back we can see an M.2 NVMe PCIe slot, two more MIPI connectors and an NFC antenna. It's impressive how much connectivity they have packed into such a tiny board. Moving on to the specs, the R1 is powered by a rock chip. RK3588S 8 core CPU clocked up to 2.4 GHz, paired with a Mali G10 GPU. It comes in 4 different RAM and storage configuration. This one has 8 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. It's capable of streaming videos at up to 8K at 60 Hz. While it sports Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, you will need to add a compatible card for that. So let's go ahead and install this one. So we have also got the CPU heatsink so let's install it as well. With everything installed the board is ready to go, let's power it up and see how it performs. This device sports 3 operating system as of now, Arduino, Ubuntu and Debian 11. It comes with Arduino pre-installed but I'm not a big fan of Arduino on a single board computer so I installed Debian 11 instead. As you can see it's running smoothly, browsing the internet. Checking emails, this thing can handle easily. Let's check the media performance by playing a 4K video. I have turned on the stats for Nerd and there is only a single frame drop, which really surprised me. I didn't expect it to run this smoothly. This makes it a great option for a streaming device or a media server. I also tried some office work and it worked pretty well. With its decent processing power, you can use it as a mini PC for everyday tasks like editing documents, watching videos or even coding. It's impressive how versatile this small board can be. They also made a 7 inch IPS touchscreen display that connects using the MIPI connector. After connecting the display, I think Android might actually work better for this setup. So as you can see it's working pretty nice, the touchscreen make it even user friendly especially for apps and media. I have came up with an exciting idea by combining these two components, I'm planning to create a portable workstation, let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video on that. This board opens up endless possibility for projects thanks to its rich set of interface like IDOC, SPI UART and GPIO. If you're into DIY electronics or like to play with single board computers, this is something you will need to check it out, starting at just $99. I have dropped the links in the description so be sure to check them out. So that's pretty much it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts or ideas in the comment box. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.